get a feeling now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer So as you first walk into the kitchen we have this monstera plant, which is essentially a cheese plant. The pot is from B&M Bargains. Again, it's this ribbed stone effect pot. It's actually plastic. The plant itself I got from Amazon as a baby and it's grown into this massive monster plant and it's very statement indeed. Actually, this leaf is the newest leaf, yet the biggest. Moving on into the gallery kitchen, we have a jute runner, which leads you down into the dining area at the bottom here. So on the left hand side, we have this tall boy unit here and our oven is at waist height. So there's no bending down to the oven. We've got the tall boy, like I said, we've got cabinetry cupboards above and below. And then in here, we have our fridge, totally integrated. Everything's integrated in this kitchen. A healthy looking fridge by the way we also have an integrated freezer underneath and that is the view from all the way down here we have vaulted the ceiling as well in here so it does give it a grand airy feel okay let's go through the integration we've got integrated bins recycling bins and food bins they are removable. We've then got our washer dryer inside this cupboard here. And then in this one we have our dishwasher. Underneath the sink is a general under the sink cleaning cupboard which needs organising. <laughs> Next to that is a baking cupboard that totally needs organising and my candle cupboard which again needs organising. In the new year Everything is soft closing, so satisfying. Down here we have Ralphie's food and drink bowls. And then sink side, let's talk about the worktop. We've gone for a concrete effect worktop. And this is from Worktop Express. It's the Zenith, so it's compressed laminate. So it actually feels cold, like a granite style worktop, but a lot cheaper. And then we have integrated the draining board into the worktop next to the sink we have a stainless steel water bottle that's my husband's water bottle which i think looks really really aesthetic in this kitchen dare i say that's my water glass because this is real life <laughs> and then we have these jute baskets which house my glass amber bottles this is for washing up liquid it's the pump style bottles Everything will be linked down below. I've also got these spray bottles and I generally like to keep a fabric spray in here as well. And then we have a stainless steel sink with a shower style tap, which is very handy. On the windowsill, I have a four mother of pearl trailing plant. I love to style windowsills up with trailing plants. This is a vintage French olive oil soap, cube of soap. And next to that we have bamboo dish brushes, which are generally for styling reasons, but I do use them now and again. The other side of the windowsill, I have more styling baskets with bamboo brush brushes in there for next to the sink. And also these cow shed hand lotions and hand wash. Love cow shed products. Then we have our fruit basket. I'm clearly loving the avocados at the moment, but the fruit basket is a wire matte black basket because I feel like a wood one would not be great at washing if there's any rotten fruit in there, do you know what I mean? <laughs> we then moving on, we've got my Smeg appliances. I have this Smeg toaster in white. I also have on the countertop a Smeg kettle matching in white also. And that sits on this little wooden stand. Now it's actually a wooden tray. 
let me show you it's actually a wooden styling tray and it's actually just upside down so let's put it in this way around and see if it works <laughs> I don't think that works actually okay we'll leave it in there and see how we see how we go I then have these copper mugs I love these at winter time I feel like they're really festive for some reason and then I have this glass stackable jar this is from Amazon I'll link it down below it's full of festive treats this time of the year next to the kettle behind that we have this coffee print in a like a box frame which I think is really nice considering I don't like quotes around the house and with the leftover worktop we had our joiner which is Ash's brother make us this chopping board in the same material and I feel like it works really well it looks really minimalistic really effective Tis the season for chocolates. I've got all my Ferrero Rocher in this ceramic star dish. It gives me all the white company vibes. However, it was from Home Bargains, but I think I'll try and find something similar and link it down below. I then have these four fur bottle um, covers, holders. So these are great if you're giving the gift of a bottle of something nice or if you're going around to someone who's hosting you it's nice to give them a festive gift with something like this wrap around it again it's from home bargains if i can find something similar i'll link it again down below i've got my baileys in here oh and for the backsplash in here we've used beveled subway tiles and we've just done them in a herringbone design we've also got the brushed chrome sockets it's a running theme throughout the house i just feel like this house it's a bit more modern and it suits the brushed chrome we've gone for the aged antique industrial brackets for underneath the farmhouse shelves and then we've used rustic scaffolding boards for the shelves themselves why did that rhyme <laughs> so these are the farmhouse shelves and if we did took the cabinetry all the way down where the shelves are it would have really stuck out and then closed in the kitchen so I feel like it's more spacious with these farmhouse shelves and I love how they look so because it's the festive season this is normally a coffee bar and I do style it up seasonally normally it's got all the coffee and the breakfast stuff on here but because it's Christmas I've done a hot chocolate bar these are little jars from home bargains with all the marshmallows candy canes and all the other treats in we've got some Ferrero Rocher treats as well I normally put some like blueberry muffins on here and things like that and then got this glass kilner jar which is normally my cookie jar but we've got shortbreads in for the festive season this is my fortnum and mason egg basket it was a gift it was a fortnum and mason hamper i got for christmas one year and i use it on the shelf i think it looks adorable and i use it for my eggs i then have this le creuset jug i did buy this originally for my utensils but it didn't look right so it's ended up here for now and inside it, I do have these. They look really Christmassy, but they're out all year round. They're these twigs and they've got like cotton ball stems. They're very farmhousey. Love them. I'll link them down below. Next to that, I have my Robert's radio. My husband gifted me this one Christmas and it's the best thing ever. We're always playing Jazz FM in the kitchen, especially at Christmas. What a vibe. And then next to that, I have these glass cork lidded spouted contraptions and then on the top shelf we have some reed pampas flower I can't really reach up here so it's not used for everyday things and I've styled it in an amber vase again I've got some jute um, twine on a reel and some vintage scissors and I also have this vintage skeleton clock which is from Dunelm I've painted it in Farrow and Bowl Elephant's Breath so it goes with the rest of the house style. I've also got a White Company Botanical Winter Candle. It's the winter scent. Love that. It's my favourite one and I never light it. I should just light the candle. And then I've got this 
French wine vase. It's absolutely massive and I got it from HomeSense. So from this side of the kitchen, you can see we have a cooking station. So let me talk you through this side. We've got curved cabinetry. I did want the full big drawers in the middle over here. And I did want the cooking station to be really aesthetically pleasing because we chose this over an island. It just wouldn't work out with the layout. Again, everything is soft closing. We've gone for these brushed chrome cup handles on the drawers. And then inside the drawers, it's all about the little details. We even had these made. Well, they're made from a company where they just fit your drawers perfectly. So the inserts, they're all stainless steel removable. You can put them in the dishwasher and they fit the drawers perfectly. So I've got all sorts in here. I've even got a label maker, which as you can see, I like to pop labels on my jars. I've got these little wooden spoons. I've even got a morning syrup pump, which is normally on the coffee bar. Cheese knives, because it is the season. And then we've got this snowflake coffee mug thingamajigger and also some cookie cutters. more storage underneath and all the cupboards need organizing again they're just random bits in these cupboards we're going to do full organizational videos in january we paid extra to have this kitchen curved on the corners and i just feel like it just looks really softer more intentional and more homely we chose an induction hob because i wanted this kitchen to be really easily cleanable and yeah, I feel like it works in this house because it's quite modern and it just works. On the top, I do like to style up like I would have styled the island. I like to style up this area with some statement vases, but because it's Christmas, I do have my little mistletoe wreath and a candle hurricane jar in the middle. And if you didn't know already, the wreath represents eternal life and the lighting of the candle in the middle on Christmas Eve represents how much light Jesus brought to the world. This hurricane jar is still available from the range. I'll link it down below. Also on the cooking station, strategically placed, is olive oil because I'm always cooking with that. And I also like to have the vinegar next to it as well. There's nothing better than bread and olive oil and vinegar. <laughs> what an elite combination. I do have these glass jars as well with the most aesthetically pleasing pasta you have ever seen in your life. No one's eating this pasta. It's for visual representation only. We have risotto rice, which we do eat regularly and actually I'm making risotto rice this evening. If you guys would like to stay for dinner. So this is a mango wood cake stand and it's a very obscure looking and there's no way for me to put it. It doesn't even fit <laughs> inside the cupboards. It's got this little domey bottom as well. And yeah, it don't fit in the cupboards. And then styling wise on the other side of the cooking station, I normally have a candle, but I have got this electric reed diffuser here, which is burning uh, the White Company fireside at the moment. I've got also these chopping boards in this nice rustic wood colours. I feel like they look really good leaning against any black splashes or next to the kettle. They're just great for styling in a kitchen. I don't actually use them. <laughs> We've got USB charger ports as well in the wall here, just in case you wanted to charge your phone. I bought this urn vase off, I thrifted this urn vase and I painted it in Barrow and Bowl Elephant's Breath so it matches the whole colour story of this kitchen. And then inside it, I do like the look of utensils styled in a big urn vase. I'll link similar down below. So above we have framed glass cabinetry for styling reasons only. However, I've not got round to styling these cabinets. So what have we got in here at the moment? Probably loads of random bits and bobs. 
I've got these Le Creuset mugs, which match my little Le Creuset teapot, which is styled up in the opposite cupboard. <laughs> Some more storage jars from Poundland, ready for all my organisation videos. I'm always picking them up. I also bought these from the Poundland as well. And they're little mini casserole dishes, individual casserole dishes. Great for little mac and cheeses. Okay, now this is really clever. We, ooh, we've got a vase in here, which I didn't know were there. You can hide things in here, clearly. And inside these little cupboards is my extractor fan. There's nothing worse than an extractor fan on show. So they're housed in these little cupboards. And framed, by the way, so at the top of the cupboards, because I cannot stand just floating looking boxy cupboards, we added cornice to the cabinetry all the way around the kitchen. So moving on to the other side, in the cabinet on this side we have some spice jars with cork lids and little wooden spoons. I have my Le Creuset teapot above there as well. You cannot beat having a little tea set in your kitchen according to me. So we've got this vertical radiator in the kitchen. It's in white so it blends in seamlessly and it's the traditional style but in a vertical shape. So lighting in this room, we have these spotlights, which are super bright. They're great for when you're cleaning and things like that. However, they just give me a headache. We put in a Velux window as well, but my main feature is the massive chandelier hanging from the vault and that gives off a warm light. So you can play around with the lighting in this kitchen, which I absolutely love. Looking down towards the bottom of the kitchen is the sunroom which is also the dining room. Now I should style this area, but I don't know what to do with it just yet. Before we go any further in this room, I just wanted to point out this really ugly retro 70s fire. We've got this fire plugged in. It's so old, it's what my hubby uses in the jobs that he does for his day-to-day -day work. And we've got it in here at the moment because it's still really icy outside and it's causing a lot of condensation. It's also really cold and we don't want to put the radiators on because it pumps out too much like money, basically. The back door, we have this jute mat. Again, it's in keeping with the rest of the house. We then got the Venetian blinds all the way around here in the sunroom. As you can tell, you get all the light in here. In summer, it's absolutely scorching sometimes. We've got this jute lampshade floor lamp in here as well. We do have radiators in this room, by the way, but we're just not putting them on yet for obvious reasons. So we've got this round table in our sunroom, dining room, and these gorgeous chairs, which I'll talk about in a second. I got this table, it was gray. I've started sanding it down and it reveals this gorgeous light wooden worktop. I need to finish off sanding it, it's not finished, but we found it in a charity shop for 250 quid for the table and the four chairs. Look at these chairs, guys. They are the boucle fabric chairs in this grazy color, and oh my gosh, they are stunning. We normally have hanging plants here, which are in the lounge at the moment, but we've got these hanging festive baubles, which light up. And we've got a Christmas tablescape going on at the moment as well, obviously, because it's Christmas. So I've got a cheesecloth table runner. I feel like they look really, really effective. I love the texture. I should have got a white, but I've gone for the warm, creamy colour. But I'll probably get a white one next year. They're really inexpensive anyway, but I think it's too late to order off Amazon now. These seagrass star place mats are from B&M stores. I bought them back in November, I think, for the Christmas tablescape. Don't they look absolutely stunning? On top of that, I've got these geo plate sets. This is from the range. And then inside I have these linen napkins. These are the natural color from Dunelm. And then we have these absolutely stunning ribbed glassware set from Aldi. It's actually from last year's Aldi middle aisles. You know, the random aisles. I love them at Christmas time. We've got these stag hurricane candle holders. They're from B&M stores. I think they still sell these actually. It's real glass. 
and it works really well with the woodland theme i've got these foraged woodland twigs in a statement vase with these little woodland birds from the garden center i picked up when we was there at the beginning of the month we've also got this glass statement vase from home sense and then finally for the floor we do have this absolutely stunning wood grain effect italian herringbone tile and it's in this gorgeous textured grazy color it's got wood grain texture so it's non-slippy and i absolutely love it it's only recently we have actually done a few bits to the lounge i designed my husband built as usual this fireplace situation which I feel like is really, really cosy. We didn't have a fireplace in this room. Actually, we did have a fireplace in this room. It was down on the wall down there and the layout in the whole house actually was just not working. The floor just did not work. I don't know what they were thinking. So we ripped out, we cut off the gas, we ripped out the fireplace from down there. It, was, it wasn't a nice one. So it's actually an electric fire and the plug socket is behind it so you can't see then we've actually used some indian stone which we did the driveways in and created what you would have like a tiled floor underneath a real fire we've even gone and got all the pokers and everything that to make it look like a real fireplace it's a little bit dusty i forgot that bit <laughs> i forgot to clean that while we were in here but this is real life so there you go and I've also got some logs, some decorative logs to make it look realistic. We also went as far as buying these, they're just plastic and you can buy them in all different kind of configurations and they just make your fire look real. You've got the fire ambience without all the mess and the actual fuss. This oak characterful mantle and added that to the wall so that it makes it look real i do want to add a mantle mirror i have got one in mind i'll pop it on the screen for you now which is going to go on top of the mantle but for now we've got my piece of artwork here from decenio on top of the mantle i have this foraged greenery which is just evergreen uh, leaves and I snip them off in the park I go foraging for the day for all the decor and it's absolutely free mother nature gives it you every single year and it just makes it look so festive however it's dried out a little bit so you but you, like I said it's free you can just go to the park on the dog walk and add more and more if you wanted to as thick as you wanted but I've never had a fireplace before so I wanted to create something special this year and have a little play around can we just talk about church candles for one second? I absolutely think they're a vibe, especially at Christmas. Simple, elegant church candles. I do like real church candles. However, these ones, if you're worried about having a lot lit at once, which I do like to group a lot of them together. I found these on Amazon. I talk about them all the time. They've got like a real wax coating. They're so realistic looking. They're battery operated. They last for ages. They give off the most beautiful like candle glow they look really realistic actually they've got a remote control as well so you can just switch them all off and all on at once you don't have to like individually go around but yeah i love those cowbells because we're all obsessed with cowbells they're really expensive however i bought this as a set of four on amazon and i tied them up with my jute rope myself Okay, moving on to the Christmas tree itself. Obviously, we have a real Christmas tree in the lounge and I just feel like it's so special. The camera doesn't do it justice. It smells and feels so festive. I just love it. And I have a naked tree with lights. Simple, elegant, minimal. Just with the twinkling, elegant lights, I feel like it's just so, so festive. However, this year I have added these candles and they're kind of floating. Somebody actually mentioned they look like a bit Harry Potter, which I get the vibe, but I also associate candles with Christmas. So I feel like they look really good on the tree. It's not necessarily a Harry Potter tree. <laughs> So underneath the tree we have our presents and I do take care in wrapping. Again, I'm quite minimal so you'll tend to find a lot of plain paper or brown paper packaging. 
tied up with string, haha. -ha. And then I use like bits of foliage to decorate the presents with, and lots of like bowls and candy canes. But I do have more wrapping to do, and I am doing a separate video on wrapping presents and gifts. So stay tuned if you want to see that. This gorgeous twig style woodland reindeer. I did change the bow on the front here and I just think she looks absolutely stunning next to the tree there styled up. I also have this splay table. It's bespoke made from Still and Bloom and then I have this more wood a three wick candle. I can't remember where I got this from. I'll have a good thing and link it down below if I can. We have water ceiling windows here in the lounge, which I absolutely love. And I've closed the blinds so that we can film because there's nothing worse than filming a window. It's like the worst lighting ever. The curtains are from the range. They're just like royal panels. Like I said, I've got floor to ceiling windows and I need four panels so I am looking for some new curtains but I haven't found the right fabric and I just haven't got around to doing that yet but once I've finished it will frame the TV lovely picking a thicker fabric which then will pull onto the floor around that area and it will just frame the ugly box TV and I'm also getting a new TV stand which will be more in keeping with my style in this room going forward so I think the next step is to do the the curtains and the TV area. We have some hanging plants here on this side. They're in these rope jute hangers and these plants, they're four plants, four ferns and these are from B&M Bargains I think and I did spot them a few weeks ago so I think they still might have them in. The rope hangers are from I think Amazon, I'm not too sure, but I'll link some down below for you. These normally are hanging in the sunroom, but we've got our festive baubles where these normally are. I haven't got around to doing everything in this room yet, and this area is in need of a massive overhaul. The ladder bookshelf, I will link it down below, but it was a temporary thing that will be going. We'll be getting a new sofa, a corner sofa that will come all the way around in that cozy corner here. I've got my eye on a coffee table already that I'm going to have styled up in the middle. The mirror will be going, so will the artwork. I am keeping my chandeliers. I absolutely love a chandelier like this have these matching all around the house these are not going anywhere do intend to have a gallery wall coming all the way around in that corner which will frame that then that area in the future as well so that's the plan for that area so at the moment we've got the old sofa i call this the renovation sofa it's come from my old house it must be about six or seven years old and yes it's absolutely disgusting i would never in a million years choose this synthetic crushed velvet ever again i jumped on a trend my style has come a long way since then absolutely hate it the same with the mirror i jumped on the mirrored furniture trend that came from the old house again it's about seven years old these knitted cushions are my cushions however i'm just trying to make the sofa look as nice as possible <laughs> And um, yeah, these are from HomeSense and they have the feather inserts. Always choose the feather inserts because they tend to keep the puffiness and you can karate chop them and people like that look, don't they? Including me. I don't know what's going on with this lamp. I think my husband chose it. I don't know where it came from. It's just done the trick whilst we've been renovating the rest of the house. Mirrored side table was from the range. The rug is new, however. And this is imported from a faraway country, but I did buy it off of Amazon. Like I said, it's imported, so you do have to wait a little while. I love the jute rugs. This is also jute, but it is a creamier colour because I just wanted to go a little bit lighter for the lounge. And as you can see, it's a little bit obscure in places. It's still kind of settling in. And whilst we're down here, we just had this carpet fitted literally at the end of November. Gorgeous, grazy carpet. It's absolutely beautiful. So as you walk through the front door into the entryway hallway, we have this 
statement plan. I keep forgetting to get them and I'm going to get them in the January sale because I'm all about saving money but the pencil Christmas trees, just the natural green four pencil Christmas trees. I'll pop a picture on the screen here for you and just with twinkling lights because I feel like this is a summer plant and it's Christmas so a statement tree situation here will be in future hopefully. This is a dragon plant and he is called Draco. He sits by the window here. Again, this pot is from B&M Bargains. It's this ribbed stone effect pot and it's actually plastic, but when it's weighted down with all the soil inside, it's it just looks really real and it automatically comes in this grayish color and they do them in all different sizes as well. In the window, we have this boucle creamy fabric curtain. I've actually tied it up with a piece of rope for now, but um, I will think about that more near the time. We've literally just renovated the whole way. The brickwork I painted in this whitewash because it was ugly red brick and it just didn't go well with everything else. And then by the front door, I have this jute mat which again like i said i absolutely love jute this is a theme throughout my house i just love how heavy duty and natural they are i have this gorgeous mirror it's absolutely massive super heavy and this came from my old house it was actually silver and I upcycled it to fit with my current style because I just did not want to get rid of this antique looking mirror. I actually painted it in the Farrow and Ball Elephant's Breath, I think it is. One of the nicer, grayier colors anyway, and I just feel like it fits in really well. I absolutely love a mirror in the hallway if you can fit one in, especially for us girls, but everybody likes to see what they look like when they're leaving the house. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> so for Christmas, I found these Christmas tree branches, like they're just bundles, and they sell them for about $2.99 in Lidl. They're absolutely real. However, it's drying out a little bit now, not gonna lie. And then I also spray painted in a bronzy colour, a pewter kind of colour, these bells and these are old Christmas decorations that I found in a box in the basement. Okay, so moving along, I have this radiator cover. Not only does it act like a shelf, it hides the ugly radiator underneath because we've got them ugly radiators in here and I'm not prepared to spend the money on this house because this is not my forever home, but you can hide ugly radiators with these affordable radiator covers and you can even paint them out if you wanted to but you can get them in all different kinds of colors i've styled it up like a mantle and i feel like it looks really festive for for christmas like that and you can do that with sideboards and any other uh, pieces of furniture in your house i foraged the evergreen leaves branches from the park so they're absolutely free and i tied them all together with string literally somebody asked me how i tied them together and I've hung that from end to end. And then also I have these little Nordic stars, which I think are absolutely adorable. These are years old. I do like to keep things for a long time. I'll leave some link down below for you guys. On the shelf here, I have this Nordic Christmas tree. This was from Matalan last year and I can't remember how much it was. Grouped together with that, I have these real candles, the church candles, and they're just wrapped in this like, is it birch? They're wrapped in this birch bark, so they look really natural. Do they really sell them on Etsy? but they are expensive mine wasn't that expensive but i did get them from home sense a few years ago and i've not seen them since you know what home sense is like above the radiator cover here in the hallway i have a gallery wall i don't really use a lot of family photos around the home especially if you're trying to sell your home i get questions all the time about this gallery wall especially where i've got the frames from the frames are from b and bargains i think they're about 2.99 each so it's really inexpensive really to build a gallery wall. Prints inside the frames, I find them off of Pinterest. Print them out with an app called freeprints.com and they send you free prints through your, the post. I generally change out the prints in the spring, summer and then the autumn, winter. So I only change these twice a year. 
the only thing that's missing in here and I need to finish it off with is a bookshelf light I want a bookshelf light above the gallery wall which will then like shine down onto any artwork or gallery wall that you've got going on have these glass chandeliers all the way through the house I feel like they're absolutely beautiful I just feel like the glass and the wood tones together are absolutely stunning it probably needs a good dust actually up there the only thing i don't like about the chandeliers is the chrome fixtures at the top so next time we get down the chandeliers to give them a really good clean i'm going to create some sort of aged effect on that little bit there that fixes to the ceiling okay, moving on to the boot room area so where do I start? <laughs> this is my little genius idea, but if you've got a little nook, or you can even use a cupboard in your hallway, a little cupboard, even if it's a small closet cupboard in your hallway, get rid of the doors, put some panelling on the walls. I bought this wood from b and Q. And I just panelled this little alcove that we've got going on here, stuck a bench underneath so everyone can sit down and put on their boots and their shoes and it works really well in our house because we are massive dog walkers and we like live near the countryside so we do go out walking a lot so to have this little boot room area it's just really 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 handy and it just works really well with our lifestyle so i've got this bench and it's in this whitewashed wooden finish with this beautiful fabric, boucle fabric, um, soft cushion top. And you can also use these benches with the bottom of your bed styled up as well, like this. I get a lot of questions about this bench. I'll link it in the description box down below. I also like to style things up like this with throws and cushions. This is my houndstooth neutral. How nice is that colour? I just love that colour. I can't help it. I just love it. I think Olivia's sells something similar. The cushions, these are from Dunelm. They still sell them and I'll link them again down below. I always go for the feather inserts. They just look more plush and plump underneath the bench we have these wooden baskets they've got handles on them love baskets around the house whether they're by the fire with logs and a blanket throw in them they just look great but they also house all of the shoes and boots and dog leads and poo bags and whatever else it is you need to just grab on your way out of the door so they look really good underneath there so i've styled up the boot room here with these pewter aged hooks and they're just attached to a piece of wood which is all then just painted all in and blended together with the panelling. I'll link these hooks down below, however you can buy the actual bars with hooks on already in all sorts of different shades and beautiful con configurations and they're from TK Maxx and HomeSense, have a look in there if you're looking for some really nice like hook systems. <laughs> and above that we have these shelves We've got these in the kitchen. We've used them in the kitchen for our farmhouse open shelving system. And they've got the most beautiful character. I think I've gone for the white ash oak, actually. I'll link them down below, but they are reclaimed scaffolding boards. They're absolutely stunning. And I get the compliments about these all the time. The brackets are again from Amazon. And I nearly forgot to show you guys how I've styled up for Christmas here in the boot room. Like I said, I style everything up seasonally so because it's Christmas I even went as far as buying these vintage ice skates <laughs> off of Vinted. They're all battered and used but I feel like that gives them the character that I want and I've hung them off the hooks because it is a boot room after all. I've also got the cold girl aesthetic going on here with the earmuffs. These are from River Island actually do use these. This scarf here is the latest find from Primark. It's got this embroidered initial on there, monogrammed, and I feel like it looks really festive. And R is our family surname. Next to that, I have my barber quilted raincoat. I actually do use that as well. 
So I've got some dried up baby's breath up here and this was my flower of choice for my wedding so it means something to me. It's dried out and I love the colour of them dried out, I love them obviously fresh as well. Next to that we have another textured print from Decennial. I actually like the fact that it's dried out because it's gone this beautiful brown colour. Yeah, so I've got a little plant pot, hanging plant pot there and a little lamp, which doesn't work, by the way. The floor has been brought right through from the kitchen and again, it's the Italian herringbone tiles. I love the herringbone design. I just feel like it gives it a little bit more looks. And again, these tiles are in fact textured so they're non-slippy they've got this beautiful like wood grain tones in them they do go really really well in this house okay so as you walk through the door to the bedroom you will hear some squeaky floorboards <laughs> in fact let's talk about the floors apart from them needing a really good clean actually we went for this wood grain laminate flooring and it was temporary and we stuck it in, in this room and in the other bedroom so that we could move into this house three years later although it's like hard wearing it looks really nice statement plants i absolutely love them i think they make the space feel really natural and i don't know i just think the plants bring the room to life so I have this massive big pot and this is from B&M Bargains. Again, it's like a textured kind of a greasy stone. It's plastic, although it was quite expensive. I think it were about 50 quid. The plant itself is a bird of paradise plant. And as you all know, I do like to look after my plants and give them names. And she is called Pandora. We have some Ikea wardrobes. These are old wardrobes. They came from the old house and I just love them. You can reconfigure them inside to whatever configuration you want. I do need to put door handles on them I just haven't got round to it yet but they're soft closing and you can get them where they're built right up into the ceiling and then you can get that bespoke look I think it's called the Ikea packs on top there I just have a four trailing plant just to fill in that void because like I said I do like this bespoke finish and kitchen cabinets in the UK really annoy me because nobody bespoke makes them to the ceiling by default and I think they should because that void up there you don't want clutter up there and it's just a wasted bit of space let's talk about the bedside tables they were like a French style bedside tables and I used to have the full set in the old house I'll pop a picture here on the screen for you I chiseled off the handles and I put some cup handles on just so that they looked in keeping with my current style so I did upcycle these I created that vintage like worn look I pop these cup handles on they'll do for now like I said, we, when we bought this house, we quickly did the bedroom so that we could live in this space while we renovated the rest of the house. So it was kind of a quick fix. All the old furniture came from the old house. Again, I had the crushed velvet and mirrored furniture. I was that girl. I regret it so badly now. But do you know what, guys? It's part of my style evolution and you need to make mistakes in order to, I don't know, evolve. Anyway, these were from the range. It's the years old. I don't think you can find them anymore, but if I can find them, I will link them like like everything else down below we've got warm bulbs in there they're like princess crowns and they've got crystals hanging over them they're on this glass pedestal like lamp in the future i've learned a lot in this renovation in fact i might do a video guys of the mistakes i've made during this renovation that i won't be making in the next renovation i've learned actually that you do need to plan the rooms out where you want the light fixtures and fittings because i don't want plugs hanging out on show i want them all hidden in the new house so everything needs to be even more meticulously thought about i do want wool sconces at either side of the bed and it just frees up the space there on the bedside tables i also love the look of hanging them from the ceiling because i feel like it uses that space up a little bit more and gives a bit more visual interest anyway moving on let's talk about the bed it is a king size bed again it's in that crushed velvet my whole house was like mirrored furniture white walls and crushed velvet i just like you needed sunglasses to be in there in the first place all the tacky diamante 
buttons included and yeah totally regret this but it's been a good bed and we've had it for about seven years but it will be a very good day indeed when it's time to change the bed in the new house especially i've already got my bedroom plan ready for the new house i like to have a feather pillow and a firm pillow i would like the bed to have more cushions on because it is a very large bed these again are from home sense and they've got the feather inserts so that you can create karate chop them how beautiful is this embroidery let it snow these were from aldi a couple of years ago and i found them in the random miles and so yeah i picked up two during the year in my clean with me videos you'll see them and they look like this because i just turn them around and then it, when december when december rolls around it's like let it snow let it snow let it snow i do love my bedtime i love to be in bed and i do spend a lot on the bed linen i feel like you can't go wrong with actual linen bed sheets the duvet is a duck down duvet in a super king size and the bed linen is from home sense and it is plain because i do like to add texture with the throws on the end once you've slept in linen sheets and you've like invested in them you won't go back to any like being and bargain sets ever again it's another chandelier that matched throughout my home so that it flows really well. So I do love the chandelier. I won't be getting rid of it. Like I said, when they come down and we give them a good clean, I am gonna make that chrome bit a little bit more aged looking. So it's in keeping with the rest of the house. And then it saves me from buying all new like light fittings because I do love those chandeliers, you know. <laughs> These picture frames, they look absolutely silly and lost above the bed there, but we needed to put something there. I don't plan on keeping them there. I do plan on putting a shelf the rustic shelves we've seen throughout the house i do want a long one across there and then we can style the shelf up above the bed i think that would look lovely with some like leaning prints my husband's side is the same as mine very just neat and tidy and then moving on to the curtains so the curtains are this gorgeous grazy fabric from these are from b and bargains but i must admit they're not made very well yeah they're just not stitched very well they're really poor quality the fabric is lovely it's the stitching and they don't hang right they were marketed as blackout curtains and then my husband had to buy these blackout extra things and yeah these again are just temporary the whole room in here is temporary just made the best of what we've got until we get around to doing this room we've got an ugly radiator underneath the windowsill here i have thought about putting a radiator cover on here like we've got in the hallway but it would restrict my husband's side of the bed and he's not got much room down there anyway and he's like six foot what is he six foot six or something like that <laughs> he's a giant blinds are the wooden venetian tape blinds they're throughout the house easy fix and i can't remember where they're from but i will link them down below this side of the bedroom and i have my buddha over here this buddha was gifted to me by an old family friend and i absolutely love it however i don't love the color anymore and i do plan on spray painting this out to make it look more like a stone effect so i've actually bought some spray paint and i did I, I bought it in the summer and i still haven't got around to doing that yet so maybe we can do that in the new year this set of drawers the french handles on changed them out to cup handles and these house all of my tanning mitts and exfoliating mitts and all sorts of products what have we got in here tanning more tanning <laughs> a sandra pear and then what's in this one oh nails led in bed here right the other night and i was watching the tv and i was looking down that end of the room because it looks a bit lost does that there and i thought to myself then pencil christmas trees how nice would have one look down the bottom there with just lights on it like a green realistic looking pencil tree nice and skinny to the ceiling with lights on it down there it would have looked so festive you have a big 
TV, a big Philips TV, and as you can see, we've got ambience lighting in the TV, so it's wonderful in the evenings. I do like a cinematic experience in the bedroom. <laughs> um, I do like to watch movies in bed. I am that kind of a girl. Much as I don't like TVs, and I think they're ugly in a room design-wise, I need to have one in the bedroom. We went to Ikea last January, and we saw a room set up. It had like a built-in media around the TV, and this was in a bedroom, guys, mind. It had a, t a fireplace in underneath, built into the media wall in the bedroom and then at either side of the TV and around the fire was like compartments which had logs stored in and it just looked so alpine chic. That's what I plan on doing uh, behind that TV and in that wall and just making everything look a bit more visually interesting. So again, we've got the electric stove fire in here again with the extra bits and bats to make it look real. Probably put a mantle in like we did in the lounge underneath the um, TV. In between the bed and the fireplace, I do have this white fluffy rug. Ideally, I would like a big rug that comes out like here and anchors the whole of the bed situation. And then I would put, probably put a bench at the bottom of the bed and have something like this hanging over the bench. The Ralphie's little pajamas. <laughs> it's just the most adorable little pajamas you've ever seen for a dog. <laughs> and then this stag throw, again, when I found them cushions from Aldi in the Middle Isles, I found this big, massive stag throw and yeah a few years ago now so i picked that up as well and i think that looks really lovely as well draped on the end of the bed you know what i feel like about woodland stags so we recently renovated this office back in the summer of this year and i am so pleased with it i've got a full renovation before and after video and i'll link it down below if you're interested in watching the whole of the transformation of this house in fact i'll include the playlist my husband bespoke built in the cupboard situation and this was just a normal plain wall originally not going to go into the actual build of this because it is in a different video in like loads of detail otherwise this video is going to be way too long the floor is the same as my bedroom and it's like this laminate it's not the cheapest laminate but it's also not the most exp expensive wood flooring but it's this wood grain effect like coloured floor like i said we popped this in the bedrooms just so we could move into the house live in these two rooms whilst we renovated the rest of the house the round jute rug is from donnell because of the squareness of the room the round rug just gives it that much more of a softer feel in here to my right we have a wash basket this is also from donnell and it's like this ropey style material you might be thinking why on earth if you've got a wash basket in the office but I'll explain that in a second. Above the wash basket is our canvas and it's the world map. Very, very vintage and I think it looks really in keeping with the style of this office from the range. So quickly explain, this is my office. It's also my glam room, beauty room, and it's also my filming room. And I love the fact that it's a multifunctional room. <laughs> so on the desk here is where I normally pop my boxes, PR boxes, anything that's incoming that I need to film or I need to be getting on with gets popped on here and then gets processed as soon as possible. Shelves are styled up with fashion in mind because as you know I do a lot of fashion on my channel and I do love styling as well so we've got the eat drink nap coffee table book here I've got the Vex King books if you haven't read these Vex King books oh my god game changer we've got a fireside white company candle on top of there and i have my jo malone gift bag up here i've also styled it for christmas with this little what do you call these brushes sat on this little log and i just think it really ties in with my woodland theme this year i've also popped there the twigs that i foraged from the park and i think they look really good in that woodland theme again i've got some cozy converse up here styled on the shelves and I normally style handbags as well. Up here on the top we have these paper chase cardboard filing systems. I did add the leather handles 
onto these. I think they look really lovely. Also some baskets so I can store my little bit, bits and bobs in there. I added some bookcase lights to both sides of the shelving areas and I think they just, they do work. Let me just pop them on. And they light up at night and I do love those. The middle light is the linen shade. It's got pewter coloured hardware and this is from John Lewis and I just think it looks absolutely stunning there in the middle. Below the light there in the centre is our large Mac iMac, I think it's called. So we treated ourselves to an iMac. It is a refurbished one from Amazon. You can buy them from reputable sellers and they're totally refurbished and it works absolutely lovely. I think it looks really lovely in this room. The drawers are full of makeup, beauty, hair tools and all of my bits and bats which I get out every day and then I get to put them away and then this room is looking so lovely at all times. The only regret I've got in this room is always go for bright white base and in this room I chose, I think it was a Dulux, I can't remember actually the colour but it's it's turned out quite yellowy. Yeah the paint colour didn't work out very well and I regretted it and I think I'm going to paint it back white in the new year. True signature Susie style. The office chair is this beautiful oatmeal colour and yeah this is from Mano Mano. feel like a throw on the back of the chair looks absolutely stunning much more like homely and inviting like this is a room you really want to be in and i purposely designed it that way just like i have done with the rest of the rooms in this house again we've got the bookcase lights at the top hurricane woodland candle and then we've got some more baskets these i've got all my jewel little jewelry boxes in i do need some jewelry organization because my collection's getting a little bit big now and not complaining i'm gonna start organizing my jewelry into drawers in the new year so stick around for that and then i've got my little french ladere paris bag up here as well i also have my little prada canvas tote bag up here on the shelves as well when i tell you i cannot wait to design a dressing room in the new house i cannot wait to design a dressing room in the new house oh my god hedgehogs mummy and daughter i call them so that's me and that's joelle and they're in this aged bronzy effect these were from being and bargains and then over here we have more filing systems notebooks and my leather diary actually need a new diary so I need to be looking for one of those. I normally like to have a candle burning, we're getting to the end of this one and surprise surprise I have my four candles. The curtains are old curtains that I'm just using at the moment and they are this linen effect. I think they're from the range. This room gets the light, the bright sun at the back of the house because we're south facing so we're really lucky for lighting in this house. And that's actually another thing I've learned from doing this renovation as well. I've learned so much from this one. The next one's just going to be even better. The vial really helps to diffuse that light but still has it looking like really beautiful and pretty. So we've got the wood Venetian tape lines again in this room. On the windowsill here, I have this Parisian puzzle. First, I thought it was a copy table book, but it's actually a jigsaw puzzle. I thought it looked really expensive, and I think it was like $2.99 or something from the middle aisle at Aldi again. <laughs> I've got a re-diffuser, which needs filling up here on the top. And then I also have this really heavy, a statue of a female body, and it's bloody heavy on there where did that come from oh yeah that came from disc this side of the room i have my clothing rail so when i do my primark hauls and my shopping hauls all the clothing gets put on the rail it can be really organized the rail itself i painted it as you can see it's all been scratched off but i think that adds to the character the rail is totally wobbly 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 <laughs> totally wobbly and it actually i don't know where i got it from i don't know where i, got, I think it was from like ebay but it still does the trick and until it dies i won't be getting a new one but i have all my fashion -y bits there all handy so when i'm filming they're all just available the only thing i would add to this room is i would move my clothing rail up here which hides the plug sockets down here and then in that corner 
I would have a nice archway mirror so I can do like mirror selfies or I can see in the mirror whilst I'm getting changed and filming in this room so yeah that's the only thing I would add really to this room it's perfect otherwise we've got the matching chandeliers as throughout the house so as you first walk into the bathroom the first thing you see is our butler sinks we do have a full before and after renovation video of just the bathroom. Like I said, I will link them down below. So I'm not going to go into too much details of the actual build. So the cabinetry is from Victoria Plum and it consists of this middle cabinet and then the two sink cabinets. We put them all together and then my husband built in at the sides so that it looks absolutely flush and bespoke i do like that bespoke look i'll show you on the taps but we've gone for this matte black hardware in the bathroom just wanted to do something a little bit different in this room and like get out of my comfort zone a little bit which is why the floor is so funky i can't remember the pattern of this floor but this is tile and i'll link it down below i think it's from wix my OG subscribers might remember this, but when we were doing the kitchen, I really wanted a butler sink and they talked me out of it for some reason or another. Anyway, I got them in the bathroom. So we've got his and hers butler sinks, all the cabinetry, that's my side, that's his side. And then the middle houses, towels under there and the middle drawer is all our toothbrushes, etc. I've got this vase. It's like an amber tinted glass. I love the amber glass, as you can see. It's a running theme throughout my house. This is from TK Maxx Home Sense. I've also got a few olive leaf stems in this vase. I'm absolutely obsessed with olive trees. So these were from Dunelm and I think they were about five pound a stem. They've probably gone up in price like everything else has. So if they've gone up in price, I'm sorry about that. And I think the greenery gives it a real statement vibe as well as giving it life. And then we have his and hers mirrors, matching mirrors. And we've gone for the black theme again in here with the crittle um, style. Above that we have these industrial wool sconces that illuminates over the mirror. I prefer these lights because they're warmer, even though they're not showing up warm on camera, it's a really awkward room to film in. They're quite warm, these lights, so they make everything look really homely. We've also got spotlights in the ceiling that hubby put in. He prefers them, but they are super bright white, like they give me a headache. <laughs> Again, minimalistic. I don't like to leave anything out on the sinks just because it looks a lot cleaner and it just makes my head feel a lot less stressed. I do like to leave signature scents out. The Dior Sauvage is my husband's signature scent at the moment. And what have we got on my side? I've actually got my watch out because I just left it there last night while I was having a shower. And I've got my Marc Jacobs Daisy, which I'm nearly out of actually. <laughs> Every time I show these towels on camera, I get a lot of questions. They're beautiful, aren't they? They've got tassels on the end. I can't remember where I got them from. I think they were from Home Sense, but they was like nearly three years ago now. But if I can find something similar, I'll link them. Okay, moving around the room, we've then got a window, good effect Venetian blinds. And then on the windowsill, we actually swapped out the windowsill into those rustic, scaffolding boards instead of a normal windowsill and I just think the wood gives it a really nice touch. I love nothing more than to style a windowsill with hanging plants especially in the bathroom. These are for plants. They are these little rope planters and again I love the jute. On this side we have the fern in the little jute situation. I've also got a canvas cow shed wash bag on here as well for storage. I just love the canvas and the wood tones together. Oh, as you can tell, we tiled the whole way around the bathroom in this subway beveled tile that we've got in the kitchen. However, we didn't go for the herringbone design in here. I wanted just a normal subway tile because I just felt like it worked better with all the industrial looking hardware in this bathroom. 
As far as toilets go, we went for the soft closing, just a normal general white lidded toilet. Moving on to the shower area. So this is the shower area, fully tiled. We've gone for the crittle shower screen to go with the rest of the bathroom. And the bath panel is the same color as the cabinetry extra window here in the shower area to let all the steam out and shower situation we've just got a normal shower situation and matte black hardware again in the bath next to the shower screen which i think is really really effective is a four ivy plant and again i've used a jute rope hanger in here keeping in theme with the rest of the house and then the four trailing ivy which again works really well off shelves hanging from the ceilings you can't beat plants for visual interest moving on round the corner here we have the matte black radiator in this vertical design again i've not gone for a traditional one in here i just wanted to do something a little bit different in this room but that's the towel radiator in here and it hides perfectly behind this little awkward wall <laughs> these towels are like a grazy color and they are from home sense the radiator itself is from ebay believe it or not a bamboo bath mat I do like the natural products I feel like the carpet ones the fluffy ones they look really good when they're brand new but I just feel like they house so much bacteria I can't even I can't even think about it <laughs> matte black hooks which we attached to the door and they hang off our little decorative towels but my hubby just like leaves it all straggly so I always just hang it up here but that's his towel I've then got these black shopper bags and that's how I store my toilet rolls because I feel like they look really cool on the back of the door hung like that we've also got plenty of storage under here and then finally we have my little Soho robe hung up here and I'm gonna have to get Joelle one as well because she keeps stealing mine. There's nothing better than a fluffy luxury bathrobe when you got out of the bath. <laughs> 